The Tomton and the Fox. This is a story that was written by Astrid Lindgren, who was a Swedish author who also wrote Pippi Longstocking, which you may have read. She wrote the book based on a poem by Carl Eric Forslund, and it was illustrated by an artist named Harold Weberg. Here we are, the Tompton and the Fox. The fox lives in the middle of the forest. When evening comes, he leaves his den. Where can a hungry fox find something to eat? He knows. Creep silently, Reynard. Creep silently to the farm where people live. But how light it is. The snow is so white and the stars are so bright. Creep carefully, Reynard. Creep so that no one can see you. Who will see him? There is a light in the window, and there are people inside the house. But no one will look out to see a hungry fox coming through the snow. But someone can see you, Renard, the Tompton, who watches the farm at night. Children are playing in the cottage. Soon they will be going to bed. They don't know about the fox and the Tompton out in the snow. The fox sneaks around to the cow shed. There must be something there for a hungry fox to eat. Creep silently, Reynard, so that no one will hear you. Now everything is quiet. The cows are fast asleep. What do cows care about a fox? But the cowshed mice are awake. Come on, Renard, catch us if you can. We have a hole in the floor. Ask the cat, she'll tell you. Come on, come on, come on, Renard. Come and catch us if you can. Who cares for mice? There are other things which taste better. Oh, look out, hence, for Renard is coming. The fox is here. Oh, help, help. Then steps are heard outside. The hens hear them, and the fox hears them. Who is coming through the snow? Only an old, old Tompton who guards the farm at night. Were you frightened, Renard? Have you seen the Tompton before, going his rounds from building to building? An old Tompton knows that a fox can be hungry. You know that no one is allowed to steal our hens, don't you, Renard? Hens, says Renard. Who thought of stealing hens? Didn't you stick your hungry nose through that hole? As long as I am on guard, every hen can sit safely on her perch. But an old Tompton knows that a fox can be hungry. Here you are, eat this porridge. Every night the children fill the Tompton's bowl with porridge. They have never seen him, but they know he is there. It's good, isn't it? Eat, Renard. You can share my porridge every night if you like, but don't touch our hens. We'll see, says the fox, but thank you anyway. Satisfied and happy, Reynard goes through the forest back to his den. It is a night for foxes and tomtons. People are fast asleep in their beds, but the morning star has already risen above the edge of the forest. And that's the end of the story.